pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan. Night of Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. And welcome to Ramadan Reminders. I'm Yusuf Estes, and I wanted to share with you something. I was just reading in the Quran. I like to go back over the Quran after you finish reading it for the month. It's kind of nice to go back to and start reading it again. I'm back in chapter 2, and I'm looking here, and it's telling me in chapter 2, verse 185, the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed, and it's a guidance for the people and clear proofs of guidance and the criterion. That's for Quran in Arabic language. So whoever sees the new moon for the month, let them fast and whoever is ill on a journey an equal number of days. Allah intends ease and he does not intend for you hardship. Do you remember when I read that to you in the beginning of the month? You remember we said the word was Usra and Yusra. Which one is which? Which one is easy and which one is hard? Usra is easy or hard? Yusra? Easy or hard? Allah intends for you Yusra. He wants for you ease, not difficulty. Usr, Usr, ah, with Ayn, you know, in the back of that. Ah, 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 ah. No, I don't want it hard. You don't want it hard. And Allah wants ease for you. And this month of Ramadan, there is ease. Yeah, during the day we don't eat, you know, and we don't drink. We don't have intimate relations. But did you notice that really it's not that hard? And then whenever you break your fast, sometimes I can't help but cry. As soon as I take that drink, as soon as I feel that water start to run through me all over inside. It feel, I, sometimes I look down to see, did I get wet? Because I can feel that water. It feels like all over inside of me. Did you feel that? And you think, oh, thank you, Allah. Shukr Allah, alhamdulillah, for this delicious water and for this date or this piece of bread. And did you ever notice it's like 30 days of the best water you ever tasted in your life, isn't it? And the food and the fellowship, being with other Muslims. Ooh, I remember the very first Ramadan I fasted and I went to the masjid and I was so excited because I had never seen so many people gathered there at night. Oh, sure, you know, on Juma, Friday prayers, a lot of people came. But on the first night of Ramadan, when I went, all oh, the cars everywhere. I thought, was it a circus? Is What's going on? Is it, is it some kind of sporting event? They said, no, it's for Ramadan. And there were so many people. I'd never seen them before. And cars everywhere. Sisters here and there, and brothers over there, children everywhere. I said, wow, it was great. It was fantastic. Night after night of fasting, and breaking the fast, and listening to the tarway. Uh, you know, tarway salah uh, late at night. And But then, as Ramadan started to come to a close, and we got close to the end of Ramadan, somebody started telling me about something called itikaf. Itikaf. To stay in the masjid the last ten days. Now, if you can't do that, maybe you could stay the last three days. Maybe the last one day. But then they told me about a night in the month of Ramadan that's real important. Actually, it's mentioned in the Quran, isn't it? Talking about this Laylatul Qadr. Have you heard about it? Now, if you're a new Muslim, you might not have heard about it yet. If you're not a Muslim, the first time you've encountered this Laylatul Qadr. We usually call it the night of power. It's mentioned in the Quran, toward the end, in the last Jews of the Quran, that Allah sent down the Quran in the Laylatul Qadr, in the night of power. And what will convey unto you what the night of power is? It's a night wherein is better for you than a thousand months. Not a thousand nights, a thousand months more reward, more ajr in this one night than a thousand months. Well, of course, you know me. I got out my calculator, sat there and figured it out. It's a little bit over 83 years. 83 years of worshiping Allah all in one night? 
I'll take it. That sounds like a bargain that I can't refuse. Uh, but wait a minute, when is that Laylatul Qadr? Actually, could be any night during the month of Ramadan. The Quran doesn't tell you. But there are some hadith, the sayings of Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated to us from his companions and even his wife, telling us that it's in the odd. We find it in the odd nights. So that could be on the first, not likely, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, thirteenth, fifteenth, seventeenth, nineteenth, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, could even be the twenty-ninth, but not too likely there. And then they've also told us that it could be in the last ten days of Ramadan. Hmm. You could put that together with the odd and say, well, then it could be, last 10 days could be 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. But what if there were only 29 days in the month? Because don't forget, the lunar calendar that we use in Islam either has 30 or 29 days. So if there's only 29, um, well, it wouldn't be on the 29th night, would it? So that narrows it down. We're at 21. 23, 25, 27, and then we found a hadith haha, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is telling us it's on the 27th. Hmm. But in any case, I didn't want to take any chance. So you know what I did my first time in, this, in uh, Ramadan when I got to Islam? I got up every single night, never mind the odd nights, even nights, every single night. I got up, made sure I woke up, and I made wudu and put on something nice, and I would just begin to pray and pray and ask Allah to accept from me. I wanted Allah to guide me in Islam, to make me a good Muslim, and to use me to help other people know this message about what is Islam. And I didn't miss a night. Well, it worked. Allah made me a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. And Allah let me learn about Islam so that I could explain it, at least in my Texas English anyway. And sure enough, I've got a chance to go all around the world and see so many of my Muslim brothers and sisters and talk about my favorite subject, Allah and Islam. So I'm sure, no doubt, that that Laylatul Qadr is there because it worked for me. But which night exactly? Well, a lot of people have opinions. But for sure now here we are in the last, last of the month. I really want to encourage you and myself to get up and try each and every night to catch, that's what they say, to catch that night of power. That this night of power is better for you and me than a thousand months. I pray for you and me both to catch that night and we can really open up and cry to Allah and ask Allah, this is your chance, this is my chance to really make our connection, our salah, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, and don't forget our website, Ramadan Reminders, RamadanReminders.com. And until tomorrow, Salaamu Alaikum. See you right here. Inshallah. Oh, you.